fat. Ooh. 40 inch hair, yours came in a pack. Ooh. Camera so fat, you can see it from the back. Ah, 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 go, baby. What's up, Dutchess family, y'all? So I'm back at y'all with another video, and I'm really, really sleepy, y'all. I just got out of work. But God told me to come deliver a message. It need to be said. So I guess I got to say it. And I just got to do what he called me to do. You feel me? So y'all, check this out, right? So um, everybody knows that God is a lovable God. God is a forgiving God. God is a merciful God. We all agree there, right? God is telling me, though, how many times do he supposed to keep forgiving you? How many times do we got to keep talking to you? How many times do you talk to your kids before you whoop them? Or you ain't got no patience when it come down to them kids. Or you ain't got no patience when it come down to anything else in your life. You want shit done on your time. You want to bully people out of shit. And then God asking you for a little bit of your time, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of peace, a little bit of patience. And yet you can't do that. Yet you want to be out here committing so many different sins. You want to just keep going against the grind, keep going against God. You feel like, oh, God loves me. God going to forgive me. I'm a child of God. Listen, Shawty. Cain was a child of God, too. And he threw that nigga right out. You understand me? It's a lot of children in the Bible that was a child of God. They were sons of God. They was God's right-hand people. God trusted these people with his, his words, his knowledge, everything. And yet they went against his name. Yet they keep turning his back on, on, on God. So God going to throw your ass out. So understand that. Understand that when y'all mamas get tired of y'all daughters and they go crazy or y'all son, what y'all first thing y'all do? Oh, you want to be in the streets? I'm going to let you go to the streets then. <laughs> what you think God going to do? And one thing about God, God most definitely is a forgiving God, but he ain't got to deal with you. He ain't got to deal with you. God do forgive you. He do still love you. He just not dealing with you. He tired of you with your bullshit. He tired of your lies. Every time you come to him, you come to him, oh, I'm going to change my life this time. I'm going to get it right this time. I'm going to get it right this time. Give me one more time, God. One more try. One more try. God said, you ain't getting no more, honey. You fucked up. <laughs> he said, baby, you fucked up. You ain't getting no more. You don't get another chance. I done gave you four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And one thing about it, y'all, is coming out the anti gods. Listen, shout it. God's words never change. He know what he wrote. God about his business. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't write this for y'all to twist his word up. Or maybe he meant this. Or maybe he meant that. Or maybe he meant it this way. Or maybe he wasn't talking about that. He was talking about something else. If he was talking about something else, don't you think he would have said something else? Do you think God really want to confuse his words? His word already confused enough. He didn't he didn't misread nothing. He didn't miswrite nothing. You think God made a mistake when he wrote what he wrote? He did not, baby. I'm about my book. I'm about my business. And one thing about God, he just he just sent he gonna send a messenger in your life to deliver it. Oh yeah, I'm I'm telling you right now. I'm sending you as a warning message. So I'm gonna send a messenger to you so I can fail warn you of what's going on. You get what I'm saying? The anti-God to sit around, oh, no, nah, God didn't mean it like that. He made it this way, Jasmine. He made it this way, Um, whoever listening to me. He made it, he ain't mean it like that. He mm -mm, that ain't, that wasn't God's word. Because, you know, God, he real confusing. God ain't no damn confusing. God clear as day. He the easiest man to get to know. All you got to do is welcome him, welcome him into your life and you get blessed. But people feel like, oh, no, nah, I'm blessed enough. <laughs> I'm blessed enough, God. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. God say, baby, you don't even know what I got in store for you that you ain't even going to get. Because you feel like you done got enough. You feel like you done had it all. You feel like, shit, it ain't nothing else to come. So I guess I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And God just going to keep forgiving me. <laughs> when you go to jail or when you judge or when you, not even when you go to jail. Let's start saying that. When you, when you looking at two different people, right? Are you going to judge them the same? Two different people in front of you, you going to judge them the same? Or you going to sit down and have a conversation with them and you going to figure out, hmm, I got to I gotta treat this person accordingly, I got to treat that person accordingly. Everybody does not get the same treatment. People get judged differently. You understand me? So, yeah, somebody might be getting away with something, but you can't get away with it. You can't get away with it at all. And one thing about it, a purpose that is known 
it goes punished. You understand me? A purpose that is known and not used, it goes punished. And a purpose that is used and corrupt, it goes punished. He, it goes punished. Let me say it one more time. So for y'all who know the word of God and y'all know what y'all supposed to be doing, but yet you still not do it, you go, you going to get punished for it. And you're going to keep punishing. You going to, y'all can't even talk because I'm so sleepy, y'all. But listen, God already told me like, baby, you know what the punishment is? Your visitation years. <laughs> he made that so clear to me. Your visitation years going to be your punishment years. Your 30, 40, 50, 60. When you supposed to be chilling and vacating. You worried, you stressed out, you working, you dealing with all type of sickness, mental mental illness. Oh, mental illness. Damn. I don't even know what to say about that. Some of y'all gonna go crazy. I don't know what to say. You feel me? Like, all I know is just, I'm just gonna deliver God message how he wanted to come out. And y'all just gotta take heed to it. You get what I'm saying? Y'all gotta use y'all own discernment on who fits where. Because it's a lot of y'all. Y'all got Bibles in y'all house. But yet y'all still corrupt and and throw out God's word. Oh, no. Nah, God didn't mean it like that. He wasn't talking to me when he said that. He was talking to her. Mm-mm. No, nah, that wasn't me. No, nah, God didn't mean it like that. God, I got my own interpretation of the Bible. Just because what you take in the Bible don't mean that's what God said. That's what I heard today. Really? I understand that. But it's like, when you really a child of God, all of us have the same meaning of the Bible. It's no, it's no if, ands, it's no in the middle, it's no gray. That's what God, ooh, lukewarm. God don't like shit lukewarm. He gonna spit it back out. He tell y'all that in Revelation. He don't want nothing lukewarm. It's either gonna be hot or it's gonna be cold. God say, either you gonna believe in me or you just not gonna believe in no gods. It, what is God? God say he'll rather believe in he God say he'll work a blessing for the people who don't believe in no God than the people that choose to believe in him and corrupt his name. Understand that. That man don't play by his name. That's his brand. He stand on that. He stand on that. He don't want nothing lukewarm. When you get your coffee in the morning, do you want it hot or cold or lukewarm? God don't want no don't want nothing lukewarm at all. He either wants you to be hot on fire with him or he wants you to be cold on all gods. You better be stiff on every god that come your way. Cause I don't know who to believe. I don't know if I don't know if she real, he real, that person real, nothing. So God say, don't even believe in nobody. Just live your life and trust your intuition, if that's the case. But for the people who know who God is and know God's name and y'all corrupting and, and switching his word up, y'all thinking y'all know him. Let me say that. Ooh, y'all don't even know him. Y'all talking about y'all know him because y'all don't know him. That's not God. That's the anti-God y'all really know. The anti-God to sit there and, and you could you could tell them God's what God said and they're going to switch everything up. Oh, no, nah, because when you read in Revelations, or was that the New Testament or the Old Testament? Or, uh-uh, what part of the Bible that is? Uh-uh, maybe, because when, cause when God said this right here, he said this in the other part right here. He told we could, he said, listen, child, they want to come up with all type of excuses on God's name. God says it's right here in your face. It's clear as day. How much clear do I, do I need to get? Y'all, some of y'all, y'all asking to hear God. Y'all like, damn, I want to hear God's voice. I want to hear God's voice. God say he done text you already. <laughs> y'all waiting for him to call, y'all. God say he done text you. I text you. How many of y'all checked y'all phone? God say he text you already. He told you what you supposed to be doing. He been to keep telling you over and over again. Y'all trying to, oh, God, give me one more chance. Give me one more sign. i get it right next time. i do it right. God say he done text you. He done called you. What the fuck else is he supposed to do to get your attention? You just keep blocking him. And he keep trying to find his way to you. But yet you keep running. You keep blocking every number. He keep trying to get in contact with you. God say he texts you. He texts you. If you can't hear, if you can't hear God's voice and you can't hear his name, baby. <laughs> he say, I text you. <laughs> I text you. That's all I want to keep saying. I want to keep saying it the rest of the video. I text you. Y'all don't hear me. Some of y'all can't hear God's voice clear as day. But he texts you though. And when he texts you, 
you took his words and, and you corrupted it, you twisted it, and you didn't get the right meaning of the text. <laughs> so I don't know who need to hear this, but God done text you a lot of times and you just keep avoiding it. You just keep not responding. And you just, and even when you do respond or when you do open the text and you do read it, you miss, you miss the screw with everything he said. When somebody texts your phone and they say, I'm outside. You outside, right? You outside. Why? Like, they outside. You feel me? Like, it was not, it wasn't nothing that was like too hard about that, right? Even though if they, even if they went outside, they down the street, they on the way. You feel me? So it's just that simple you know it's just that simple when you and your friends text and they say what they doing what you doing and you text back oh shit watching tv that's what you doing right so why do why do god word got to be so complicated it got to be so twist so mis misunder misconstrued god say he he texts you he texts you everything that you need to know about him. Y'all keep asking who the real God is. Did God really do this? Did God really say this? Is this really God? He said he texts you. He texts you a whole manual on how he is. He texts you this stuff already. So he no, he not finna keep answering you. No, he not finna keep talking to you. He, he tired of talking, shawty. I text you. I'm not finna keep talking to you. I text you. So I don't know who need to hear this. But bitch, God texts you. The fuck? Other than that, y'all, I'm out.